Hello and welcome back to my channel and in today's video, oh boy have I got news for you regarding some brand new Transformers Studio Series figures. We did begin to think that the Studio Series line had in fact dried out due to the lack of releases towards the end of 2019, although judging by these listings and the already announced 2020 first wave of Studio Series figures, I can definitely say that I think that 2020 is going to be full of awesome Transformers Studio Series figures. These listings come fresh from leaked listings from Walmart. Walmart listings in the past have proven to be extremely reliable, so I honestly would think that these listings are going to be in fact confirmed, perhaps at one of the upcoming conventions, such as the MCM London Comic Con, which is going to take place on the last weekend of October, which I will be in fact attending. So definitely stay tuned to my channel as whatever reveals and whatever is discussed at the Hasbro toy panel for Transformers, I shall be in fact reporting live from MCM Comic Con. Now let's get into these listings. Just looking at this list, I'm already super excited. So let's get down to the first figure that has been leaked so far. The first figure that was actually leaked as part of these Walmart listings was a Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Roadbuster figure. This figure has been one that I have been eagerly anticipating and was actually quite surprised that we haven't in fact gotten any of the Wreckers in the Studio Series yet. This figure will mark the first Wrecker into the Studio Series as he really should be, considering that Roadbuster was probably one of the more popular out of the Wreckers and to me definitely appeared as if though he was the leader of the group. This will be a brand new deluxe class figure, so will of course be in scale with your Studio Series figures and will be the first time that we will in fact actually be getting a movie accurate Roadbuster as the Studio Series strives to give us the most accurate representations of the characters as seen in the movie. If you recall, in the Transformers Dark of the Moon toy line, the only Roadbuster figure that we got in the deluxe class assortment was one that had a very bland and basic alternate form which didn't match the awesome weaponized vehicle mode that he actually had in the movie and a rather spindly, awful looking robot mode. There was, however, a vastly superior Human Alliance version. However, that figure is more in scale with the Masterpiece figures, so isn't necessarily one that will scale with Studio Series figures, and considering that was released as part of the 2011 Dark of the Moon toy line, it has become quite rare nowadays. Finally, with this Studio Series listing, we're actually going to be getting a proper in scale Dark of the Moon Deluxe Roadbuster and with this announcement we of course can anticipate the release of a Dark of the Moon Deluxe Topspin as well as a Dark of the Moon Deluxe Leadfoot. Leadfoot if you will recall was actually a deluxe figure that was cancelled in the original Dark of the Moon wave making him extremely scarce so it would be really awesome to finally have all three of the Dark of the Moon Wreckers in the Studio Series toy line and I definitely think with the announcement of Roadbuster it is definitely looking as if though we could have all three of them by the end of 2020. The second figure to be listed on the Walmart leaked listings was in fact a Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee in his Jeep mode. This was of course a look that we saw Bumblebee obtain towards the first act of the Bumblebee movie. He very quickly and swiftly transformed into his Volkswagen Bug. However, it was definitely a very unique design for Bumblebee and was actually my preferred look for him in the Bumblebee movie. I really thought that he looked really, really awesome, especially when in robot mode, I loved how the front of the Jeep actually split and actually was part of the character's chest. So this will definitely be a really interesting deluxe figure to have. I also actually think that this will probably be one of the most accurate Bumblebee Bumblebee movie figures as the Studio Series 18 Volkswagen Bumblebee is very inaccurate as it was actually based on an early concept art model. With this figure coming out almost a year after the Bumblebee movie debuted, I definitely think that we are looking to be having perhaps one of the most movie accurate Bumblebee figures from that Bumblebee movie toy line and I really can't wait to add it to the collection as it is a very unique and very abstract looking design for the character and was actually the form that we saw him obtain when he fought Blitzwing. So to me, perhaps this is foreshadowing a eventual announcement of a Voyager class Blitzwing. I would absolutely love them to do that and with this release once again anything is possible. I never really thought that we would get this iteration of Bumblebee in the Studio Series toy line before Blitzwing so perhaps the fact that they're actually doing this could definitely hint that we could be in fact seeing a more predominant character such as Blitzwing in the upcoming future. And the third and final figure to be leaked on this Walmart listing was in fact a deluxe class Shatter in her jet form. Now once again they are definitely delving more into the Bumblebee movie mythology so I definitely can expect a lot more Bumblebee Studio series reveals in the upcoming waves. 
this version of Shatter could potentially be one of the most anticipated renditions of the character, seeing as the version that we got earlier on in 2019, that being her car mode, was a massive letdown with fans due to the um, ample amount of inaccuracies that the figure had. It did in fact have an awful inaccurate head sculpt, which was of course based on an early concept design, and the figure really did not hold together very well at all, making transformation from robot mode to, and to vehicle mode and vice versa almost impossible to achieve without popping off the front sections of the vehicle mode and pulling off the loose ball jointed arms. This jet version of Shatter could potentially be a repeat of what that the deluxe class car mode dropkick was to his helicopter counterpart in the sense that he was drastically improved and was a much better rendition of the character. Of course, once again, Hasbro have had almost an extra year to work on this design of Jet Shatter, so I definitely think that this figure could be in fact a lot more accurate than the original version, and this is really and truly Hasbro's last shot of giving us a really good and detailed accurate Shatter, as there really isn't any more versions they could do unless they wanted to do a very brief flashback sequence of her when she is on Cybertron, although we really don't ever really see that much in the movie, so I am very doubtful of that. So I really do hope that this Jet version of Shatter is in fact very movie accurate and once again improves over the original car version. This will also be the first time that we're ever getting a mainline movie figure for Shatter in her jet mode, so I actually think that the jet mode will be very interesting and I'm really excited to see how they pull the transformation off between the robot mode and the vehicle mode. So there was my extremely quick rundown on some basically 100% confirmed upcoming Transformers Studio Series figures. As I stated, all of this information has been provided fresh off the back of a leaked listing that appeared on Walmart. However, in the past, when we've got leaked listings on Walmart, they have 99% of the time proved to be legitimate. So I definitely think that all of these figures will eventually, in the near future, be revealed officially by Hasbro. I honestly think that we're going to see these figures at MCM London Comic Con which will debut towards the end of this month so I definitely can't wait to see those figures in person if Hasbro do wish to display them at their Hasbro booth. However I do definitely think that we will get an official announcement of some sort in the near future and I am actually really excited for this way. All of these figures are going to be completely brand new sculpts and I really think that most of them are really good entries into the studio series, particularly Deluxe Roadbuster. That is a brand new figure, a brand new character into the line, and it will definitely revitalize the line and not just give us characters that we've had before in a different form. And of course, opens up the potential possibility of actually getting Leadfoot and Topspin. So I really, really am quite excited to see what Hasbro do with that figure. Of course, a Jet Shatter does sound amazing. I just hope Hasbro deliver. And a Jeep Bumblebee definitely sounds very interesting and once again will be a very abstract looking Bumblebee, although I suspect it to be one of the more accurate Bumblebee movie figures. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick Transformers Studio Series news update video. If you did, please let me know down in the comment section below. As I stated, I will be attending MCM London Comic Con where Hasbro will in fact have a Transformers panel and will actually have a booth where they'll be showing off their new products. So definitely stay subscribed to this channel for live updates as well as full coverage of that. And until my next video. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.